Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will present the integration between Rally and Clarity PPM. We will focus on key mapping components of the integration, look at some of the dashboard capabilities in Clarity, and run the sync job. First, let's look at the key mapping components in Rally. This is the portfolio items page in my Rally environment. It shows details of items in the Agile hierarchy like initiatives, features, and user stories. I can see key details like ID, name, release, state, percent done by points and story count, project, and owner. In this example, I have the Clarity Rally pilot initiative and the features and user stories that roll up to it. I can open the flyout for my portfolio items to see more details. The details on this screen will update corresponding fields on the Agile summary page in Clarity after the integration sync has been run. Let's take a look at how this initiative looks in Clarity. This is the task page on the Clarity Rally pilot project in Clarity. I've already run the initial sync with Rally, so I can see the features and user stories on the project. The integration can be single or bi-directional based on each customer's needs. If it is bi-directional, any project or task I create in Clarity will create a corresponding initiative, feature, or user story in Rally, and vice versa. The integration is flexible enough that I can choose which projects I want to include or exclude. The Rally summary page on the Clarity project shows details of the initiative brought over through the integration. I can see general information, planning details, schedule, user story metrics, and sync schedule info. The project dashboard gives a great snapshot of the project status using a combination of information from Rally and Clarity. I can see an agile overview showing my accepted and estimated story points. Accepted features breaking down completion by story points and story count. Feature status shows a list of all features with key details. From Clarity, I can see a status report list showing historical and current statuses broken out by schedule, scope, and cost and effort. I can also see an overall project status with financial planning from Clarity and status trending. Now let's take a look at how the integration is run. I'll start by updating the initiative in Rally. On my Rally initiative, I1, I'll update the risk score and the WSGIF score. I'll also create a new feature that rolls up to the initiative called Feature 4. I also need to add the initiative I1 as the parent for this feature. I'll navigate back to my Rally Summary page in Clarity. I'll open the Actions dropdown and select Synchronize Rally. This will run the sync job and update Clarity with the changes I just made in Rally. I can see the Risk Score and WSGIF Score are updated on this page. On my Task page, I can see the newly created F4 task representing the feature I just created in Rally. All of my dashboards and reports will also update. The sync job can also be scheduled so that it can run overnight and keep the two environments in sync. This is a small sample of what can be updated using the Clarity to Rally connector. In this video, we have presented the integration between Rally and Clarity PPM. We have identified key mapping components of the integration, looked at some of the dashboard capabilities in Clarity, and ran the sync job. You can find more videos demonstrating other components of Clarity PPM on our website. If you would like to schedule a more focused demo for your team, please contact Windmill using the information on the screen.